What's going on guys, this is your boy Random Guy Kev, and this is First Impressions. First Impressions is when I take a gun that was sent to me to review and put it in the hands of other airsofters to get their immediate first impressions after playing with it. This is the Elite Force H&K License MP5K. How's it going? Uh, my name is Keegan. I've been playing airsoft for going on three years now. My primary is a, a Polestar Jack and a Crytek Trident 2. I think that's what it is. Um, yeah, so Kev gave me this MP5K. It's it's not great. Um, biggest things like with mid caps, just rattling around. The trigger response is kind of wonky. Uh, it it's slow, and even to the point where if you try to pull too fast, it'll half cock. Um, and the safeties for me, I found myself putting it back into safe on accident a couple times. Uh, so. It's a big no-no for me, and for 250, and it's all metal, so I get it. But for 250, it's it's overpriced. It's crazy, crazy overpriced. I wouldn't put this more than like 150 for a gun, and I mean, maybe if you first started out and you wanted something to use, sure, why not? But beyond that, it, it needs some some upgrades. For sure, it needs some upgrades. What's up everyone? My name is Joe. I also go by QS Airsoft on Instagram. Uh, I've been playing Airsoft for about four and a half years now, maybe five. And uh, my current primary is a Polar Star F2 and a Mark 18. Um, my personal opinions on the HK MP5K is uh, it's a good little, little uh, stockless MP5. Um, uh, the trigger response is the only thing that I don't really like about it. It's a long pull, so you can't really get fast shots off, especially in CQB. You kind of want that fast trigger response. Um, for outdoors, if you're using it as a sidearm, that's pretty cool. Or if you're down with riding a, uh, a stockless MP5 with as your primary for outdoors, you can go with that. But um, all in all, I just think that it's a... Uh, it's a pretty good gun, just the trigger pull is the only thing I don't like. Nice and lightweight, pretty comfortable. I was able to switch uh, from left to right pretty quickly for different corners. Um, shoots pretty straight too. I was using, I believe, 0 0.20 gram BBs. 0.28 gram BBs, uh, tracers with the tracer unit, Ace Tech lighter. It's a good little setup. Um, I would recommend I would recommend buying it if you are a beginner uh, looking to get a nice PDW style gun, especially an MP5. Uh, runs about $250. And uh, comes with a high cap. I'm pretty sure that's all. Um, so yeah, if you're looking to pick up a new sidearm, possibly a new sidearm or a cool little CQB PDW, go check out the Elite Force MP5K. What's going on, guys? My name is Patrick, or Local Legend Airsoft. Um, I've been playing airsoft for about eight years. Um, I have a lot of experience playing both indoor and outdoor. Um, I've done a lot of different stuff, but. My primary gun that I run is usually a Polestar MP7, which I've recently acquired, um, or just a Mark 18 D DSG, um, and Polestar AK, I use a lot of HPA guns, so I use a lot of kind of fancy high-end guns, but using this gun, um, this MP5K by SEMA, it really kind of brought me back down to my roots of airsoft, just getting a plug-and-play kind of AEG kind of gun. Um, my my experience with this was it was really fun to play with and kind of just go back to how it was being a beginner playing airsoft just having a battery with like a stock gun running around and having fun with it um so one thing that is cool is that we did put a tracer on it which made my life a lot easier but um my pros and cons of this gun is number one the fact that it's easily able to get to the threadings up. um there are threadings on the actual gun itself uh, another pro that i have uh the fact that i can kind of tuck in walk around use it like a pistol i really like that idea of I, that aspect of it um something i don't like though is the fact that it is stockless i like having some form of stock even with my mp7 i like to be able to tuck in have some form of support so this mp5 was definitely less fun because of that because my arm started to get a little tired i'm a strong guy but i did it noticed that it was getting a little bit heavy after a while um i personally really liked playing with it um it was really fun pros and cons like i said just stock if it had a stock it would be even better uh pro the trigger on it is actually 
that's actually pretty nice for a stock AEGs, which is on just a 7.4 as well. Um, I personally would recommend this if you're looking to get into Airsoft as a starting price point of about $250, what the number I was given. Um, it does shoot really nice and really fun out of the box. So I would recommend a gun like this, especially since you're trying to get out of the whole M4 scene, which everyone has, or high cap scene. So that's it. Uh, Hi, my name is Jacob Heath. Uh, I primarily play at Tactical Airsoft Arena in Virginia. Um, I've been playing Airsoft for about 12 years. Uh, my primary is a uh, Wolverine MTW HPA and or a 1911 High Kappa that I customized and built myself. Um, pros and cons to running this gun. Um, pros are it's small, it's tight, you can bring, you can peek around corners pretty easy and you don't have to worry about getting hit as much, you can hide more of your body. Uh, con for me is just the standard trigger response that you have. Uh, I would definitely upgrade it if it was me just to get a little bit more of a trigger response so I could shoot a little more faster. Um, other than that, I love this gun actually, I'm a really big fan of MP5Ks. Uh, I would recommend it to beginners for sure and then intermediate if you know what you're doing and you plan on customizing it. Um, beginner or experts definitely uh, because they'll be able to upgrade it with no problem and I think it'll be a really good platform for somebody who plays CQB indoors and needs to be snappy and tight.